Artificial intelligence isn't just powering your phone or your car. It's now helping doctors protect people's sight. At Mass General Brigham, new technology is transforming how patients with diabetes get screened for eye disease and in some cases prevent blindness altogether. Tonight, NBC10 public health reporter Malcolm Johnson is on it. I think AI is is a critical next step in, in, in transforming the way that we deliver care for the better. At Mass General Brigham, artificial intelligence is performing human tasks in helping prevent diabetic patients from becoming blind. If you have diabetes and you get your eyes checked and you catch those changes early, then you can prevent blindness. This machine conducts diabetic retinopathy screenings. We are reaching more patients than we ever reached before. Allowing doctors to help more patients. Help that with AI just takes minutes. How long does it take? Five minutes. Technology so fast, I sat and tried it. So you can put your chin on that bar there. Looks totally normal. We're fine, okay. So uh, this is your optic nerve. Your optic nerve is, is what connects your eye to your brain. So it looks like a nice normal optic nerve. There's no glaucoma. These are all your blood vessels. They all look totally normal too. Normalizing eye screenings in urban communities is a goal for this team of doctors, as minorities have higher rates of diabetes. It allows us to work in populations like Chelsea, where we have a, a predominance of black and brown patients who, in, in the setting of diabetes, have a higher rate of, of vision-threatening diabetes retinopathy, twice as much as the, as the comparable white population. Programs relieving pressure on patients to make additional appointments and simplifying health care. This is a way that we can provide care for people and screening for eye problems here in a primary care center as opposed to making people go in to get vision checked in, a, in an eye clinic. Right now, 20 Mass General Brigham primary care offices and most of their community health centers have these retinal cameras with the AI. And the goal is to move this technology into each of their locations. Reporting in Chelsea, I'm public health reporter Malcolm Johnson, NBC10 Boston.